As a health volunteer, I learned that my job is more than working from a clinic every day. Being a member of my community has made my Peace Corps service more meaningful. My name is Crystal, and I have been volunteering in Namibia's Ohangwena region for the past 14 months. In the clinic, I work with different organizations such as Project Hope, an HIV outreach and education program that works with adults. I help with administrative work and consult with local nurses to help with my HIV teen support group. Part of my job is health education and community outreach. I do this by visiting my local police station, passing out brochures, and taking blood pressures in an effort to educate the public about their health concerns. I heard about the Mother Bear Project from a Peace Corps response volunteer. This organization provides handmade bears to children in grades 0 to 2 affected by HIV and AIDS to provide comfort. Each bear is unique, like the kids themselves. I love helping to bring smiles to their faces. The primary and secondary schools in my village is where I engage with learners on healthy lifestyles and community service projects. We talk about different topics such as good hygiene, exercise, self-esteem, and confidence. We also have fun playing games together. She's a nice person, I can, in, in, in other words, she's a really nice person. Our interactions started as a working relationship, but have developed into a meaningful friendship. The self-confidence that I have seen in the girls that she has gotten closer with, um, the way they express themselves and the way they make decisions too. Um, it, I, I, you can tell that this was an impact that was brought in by her contact with them. Victoria, do you remember how we met? Yeah, I can remember Crystal. We have met at this school, sitting in the lesson of life skill. Although she is quiet, she has taken the lead in developing our health club from her experience in Camp Ya. Yeah. Will you tell us what uh, Camp Oya is? Um, camp Oya is a camp of youth exploring, achieving healthy, mm -hmm. and it's main, it's mainly based on topics like HIV and AIDS, teenage mm -hmm. pregnancy, roles and responsibility, career in life, and many more topics. Mm -hmm. I like to spend time in my community. When the market comes to my village, I can shop, greet the maymays, and buy local wombo foods that I enjoy, such as omboloto or bread. I come from a family of five in a large city in the United States. I'm getting used to a new way of life here in Namibia. A wombo culture values a large extended family living on the homestead, or iombo. About 16 people live here, but those numbers can change at any time throughout the year. A collection of rooms surrounded by a fence, my homestead consists of cinder block buildings and huts with thatched roofs. Our kitchen is outdoors and it's called an apata. As a family member, I do chores such as laundry, collecting firewood, and pounding mahongu. My host family has helped me to make a smooth transition to traditional living. According to our culture, you greet everybody you meet. It's not good that you pass somebody without talking to her. So she's doing that. She's greeting everybody. She's greeting even some do not answer because of the accent. But she's talking to them. She's eating Oshifima with us. She's eating the chicken. I killed her a chicken. Living and working together has strengthened our bond. She fits everywhere. <laughs> She don't have any restrictions, do you? <laughs> she don't have any restrictions. She's my daughter, yeah. I told you, she's my elder daughter, so she fits yeah. everywhere. I remember mm. one of my first weekends here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All Everyone left and it was just me and the kids. <laughs> I have my own space where I can unwind, but interacting with my larger host family has brought me joy and comfort. I can always feel love in our home. I've come to understand that being a successful health volunteer 
means having a lot of patience in order to meet people where they are. Making friends, knowing people's names, being part of my community is how I've built relationships. And sometimes it's just about giving away smiles.